Why do we call the spouse of the president the first lady? This title, now so ingrained in the fabric of American political culture, was not always the formal designation that it is today. The journey of this term from an informal nickname to a recognized title is as fascinating as the history of the presidency itself. The story begins with Dolly Madison, an iconic figure who charmed a nation with her grace and tact during her tenure as the spouse of President James Madison. Known for her social acumen and heroic act of saving George Washington's portrait during the War of 1812, Dolly set a high bar for all who would follow. When she passed away in 1849, President Zachary Taylor allegedly honored her at her funeral by calling her the nation's beloved First Lady. Although this attribution lacks direct documentation, it marks the earliest known association of the term with the role. However, the title First Lady did not gain immediate traction. Following Dolly Madison, various titles surfaced. Some spouses preferred the simple lady, while others like Julia Tyler opted for more elaborate titles like Mrs. Presidentress. It was during the tenure of James Buchanan, a bachelor president, that his niece Harriet Lane acted as the White House hostess, and the term First Lady surfaced sporadically in public discourse, hinting at a collective search for an appropriate title. The term finally cemented its place in American lexicon in 1877 thanks to journalist Mary C. Ames. Covering Rutherford B. Hayes's inauguration for the New York Independent, Ames referred to Lucy Hayes as the new First Lady. Perhaps due to Ames's influence as a journalist, the title caught on and has been used consistently ever since. Today, the title First Lady is not only a term of respect and recognition, but also a role that encompasses various responsibilities and influence in social and political spheres. The evolution of this term reflects the dynamic and ever-changing landscape of American politics and society. From Dolly Madison to the present day, each First Lady has left her own unique imprint on the role, contributing to its rich history and the ongoing narrative of the United States.